Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again. Hope you guys are all having an awesome EA Play weekend. Hopefully you guys are enjoying E3 and all those festivities, the gameplay, all that kind of stuff that's coming out. Now, one thing that I want to talk about today in this video is some of the new stuff that has been announced for Madden 18. What's interesting is that despite Madden 18 being obviously one of the flagship products of EA, we really didn't get much in terms of gameplay at all uh, that's been released on this game. But we did get some information regarding some of the features that are going to be in Madden 18. So what I wanted to do today was kind of give you guys just a little bit of a breakdown of the five best things that I saw get released about Madden 18. I want to hear from you guys though before I even get into it in the comments section below. What things are you guys most excited about for Madden 18 that were released this weekend? So preferably, you know, not something that we've known for a couple of months. Preferably something that we've only learned in the past couple of days or past week or so. So let me know in the comments section below guys what you think. And with that said guys, let's hop into my top five. So starting off at number five, guys, we have a tweet coming from Community Guru 17, and this is in response to her, I guess, uh, quoting in a way, I don't know, Rex DEA Football, who if you guys don't know, Rex is the lead developer for gameplay, as far as I understand, I think that's his title, I'm not exactly sure, but point is he's one of the big dogs and one of the major decision makers when it comes to actual gameplay for Madden so uh, guys what he said is that they are adding or I should say re-adding the defensive assignments feature and this is something that was in the game for a very long time I want to say it started back in Madden 06 I could be wrong on that number it might have been like Madden 05 but it was all the way back then and I think they had it up until Madden 11 if I remember correctly it could be Madden 12 Somewhere in that range, though, I don't remember exactly the time frame of when it was there and when it was when it went away, but it hasn't been in the game for at least a number of years now, uh, but it was definitely something that was useful. The unfortunate thing is back in the day, a lot of times it would cause glitches, like your player, you would assign a defensive back, for example, to cover a certain wide receiver, and that certain wide receiver might be across the field or something like that from him. It might glitch somehow, so your man coverage would be, you know, your right side cornerback covering the wide receiver that was all the way over on the left and wild things like that would happen depending on the formations that were run if somebody ran hurry up various different things like that could cause issues so my assumption is that they're definitely going to be able to fix that I don't know why they would put it back in the game if they don't have an obvious fix to that so that should be a big time improvement it's going to be nice to not have to worry about somebody moving their fastest receiver for example into the slot unexpectedly on a formation and then suddenly you've got your you know average speed cornerback getting toasted on a deep route or something like that or even on a drag route uh, it's nice to be able to match up your quick cornerbacks with the quick receivers, your big physical cornerbacks with the big physical receivers, various different things like that really is helpful on the defensive side of the ball. So that should be something that is a big time feature that they're adding. Now, one thing that I did notice is that it doesn't appear that you can actually go in and manually say, for example, I want Richard Sherman to cover Des Bryant. It has to be done by either uh, like some sort of overall feature or maybe by speed. It, it looks like you can see on the screen there, you can do it by overall. And then from what I understand, you can also do it based on certain attributes like height, possibly uh, strength and things like that. Speed obviously is going to be one of those things. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly how they do that. I really hope that they make it so that you can just decide and say, I want to have this specific corner cover this specific wide receiver because I know that was one of the things that was most important for that entire feature. So with that said, that is number five. Let's move on to number four. Up next, we have another tweet coming from Rex DEA Football. Again, the same guy from the previous one, but this is an actual tweet from his account. This is in reference to changes for Madden 18 and tackling in specific. So he mentioned that the hit stick has moved off of the X button or the square button on the PlayStation 4. It has no heat seeker anymore as well. So that is something that a lot of people have really hated. And I know I do as well. When I get off the edge and I'm running with my running back and all of a sudden a guy comes flying out of nowhere and tackles him with a shoestring tackle. I rage so bad sometimes. So uh, we're getting rid of that. That's definitely an improvement, I think. Now, 
Now, what he said is that all of the tackling is now on the right stick, and it has a high slash low hit slash cut stick options. So that's going to mean, I guess, if you go for the high hit, it's probably going to be better chances maybe of forcing a fumble, possibly better chances of, you know, getting those big hit animations and things like that to break up passes and stuff like that. The cut stick might be maybe possibly more efficient, probably not going to possibly cause fumbles as much. We don't really know necessarily how it's going to work. We do have some frame of reference from the NCAA football games that came out recently. Well, I shouldn't say recently, the most recent ones anyway. I think the most recent one was NCAA 14, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was. Uh, but I believe that game had this feature, or at least something that is going to be a, an iteration of this feature. So if you guys are interested in that, go check out that game. I know a lot of people have gameplay on that one as well, if you don't want to go purchase it yourself. So definitely go check that out and see what you guys think of it. But I definitely am interested to see how this is going to change the game, because we have seen those hit sticks be such an important aspect of Madden, and now it's going to change quite a bit. So we'll see how it goes. I'm interested, though. At number three, we have a brand new set of features for the wide receivers and defensive backs. This appears to be a major focus this year for the developers, specifically, again, the wide receivers and defensive backs. This is going to be something that I think is going to change the game a lot. What these are, guys, is a specific set of things that you can do when the ball is in the air, before the ball is in the air, various different things like that. This is obviously going to have a lot to do with team play, mutt squads, whatever you want to call it, because because you're going to be able to actually go out there and run routes with receivers and things like that, have to cover guys with your cornerbacks and safeties. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this is done. What you see on your screen here is actually a printout. And this was, I believe, taken again by Rex DEA Football on Twitter. Rex Dixon, one of the lead developers, if not the lead developer. I'm not, again, I'm not exactly sure what his position officially is called. But uh, the idea here, guys, is that there are, again, specific button combinations and things that you can do to get boosts off the line, to uh, do a hop step in your route, to change the direction of your player, obviously, um, to do things like, you know, jump up and go for the ball, various different things things like that. So it is going to be very interesting, I think, to see how this works. Now, it could be a great feature. It could be a bad feature. We don't really know at this point, uh, but I think this is going to be something that is going to add some skill to the game. Hopefully, there's not a whole bunch of things that are just ridiculously cheesy and too easy, but you know how things are. A lot of times when this stuff first comes out, they do some basic testing, and it really doesn't go as, as planned, and then they end up having to just put it into the game as good as it is at that time with the idea of making patches some, somewhere down the road. So hopefully, we have a good version of it to start with, and like I said, there's not just blatantly cheesy things to begin with but either way i do appreciate that they're actually making an attempt to make the wide receiver and db interactions just a bit more realistic and it also might help to have better cornerbacks versus just speed cornerbacks like we've seen in most recent years so uh well again we'll see how it goes but i definitely am optimistic about this one at number two, we have something that is getting a lot of controversy in the community. Some people love it. Some people are very disappointed. But this is the new story mode, the career mode, as you might want to call it. I don't know what you're exactly going to refer to it as, but it's referred to as long shot. As I understand it, it's going to be somewhat similar to a telltale type of game, like the Walking Dead, the Game of Thrones series that we've seen, where basically you're going to have control of your player, but there's going to be a general guideline as far as how the story plays out for everybody that plays the game. Now, some of the decisions that you might make along the way might change things here and there, but as I understand it, the general end of it is going to be the same for everybody, so we'll see how it goes. I think it could still be fun, but this is something that has been in development, as I understand it, all the way back from 2013, so this is something that they've been working on for four years now, so hopefully it's good. If it's not good, again... You know, this is the first time they've done it, but I, I think that's pretty disappointing if it's not good after four years of development on this game mode. So it's definitely going to be interesting how it goes. Um, they obviously put out some different types of, uh, you know, trailers and things like that. So you guys can go check those out on some other channels if you're interested. But I do think this is going to be a fun game mode. I'm certainly going to try it out. Hopefully it's cool. And hopefully not a whole lot gets leaked before the game actually gets into the hands of players. Because if the whole story gets leaked by that point, it's going to be really disappointing to go out and play it yourself. Who's going to want to do that? 
So hopefully we don't have that happen, but you know, chances are it is going to get leaked at least a little bit before the game gets released. So if you're not wanting to have that happen to you, make sure that you don't watch those videos when they get released eventually, guys. But uh, again, I am interested in the story mode, so hopefully it'll end up being pretty cool. That leads us to the number one thing that was released this weekend for Madden 18, new feature. Guys, that is Weekend Leagues. Now, if you guys are not familiar with this feature, you are not alone, okay? This is not something that I have personally experienced. However, I do know that people that are in the FIFA community and people that play that game pretty regularly are super pumped about this because they know how much fun it is on FIFA and also how much fun it is to watch YouTube videos of it. So as a YouTube content creator, this is certainly something that I'm looking forward to. Additional ways to make fun videos and things that are going to be entertaining not only for you guys, but also for me. I don't don't forget about me when I'm making these videos guys <laughs> but uh anyway basically guys what the weekend leagues are are things that will help kind of create a little bit more of a competitive atmosphere but not necessarily like the the Madden championship and and those competitive tournaments that we saw these are things where you can basically work daily weekly and monthly to qualify for weekend tournaments and uh these tournaments are I guess I shouldn't really refer to them necessarily as tournaments but uh they're an opportunity for you to go in and actually earn games or earn in-game items I should say based on games that you play uh, and how well you perform in those games so there are various different leaderboards and in-game rewards based on those leaderboards so this is going to be a very very cool opportunity for us to kind of see who's who who's good at this game who's mediocre looking at me uh, but uh, in the end guys what the point of this is is to kind of reward those people who play a lot of Madden or you know FIFA or whatever game that you're playing and what you end up doing again is getting better and better rewards depending on how well that you perform so that is certainly very cool the other thing that we saw was that Jake Stein who is also one of the lead guys this is actually somebody who is a lead uh, person within the ultimate team group and he actually tweeted out that there is going to be 25 games is that's what they're currently working on for a weekend league so you're going to end up having to play 25 games but I actually think that's a good thing so it leaves plenty of opportunity for you to get a ton of games in and earn a ton of different rewards based on those games so hopefully it ends up being as good as the uh, FIFA one because the FIFA one is absolutely blowing up right now and people love it so with that said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on the video. I really would appreciate it. And again, let me know in the comment section below what features are you guys most excited for for Madden 18. These are my top five. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys again soon.